Welcome to my YouTube channel and this is Ricky Chisambo. Uh, in today's lesson we want to revise mathematics paper 1 which was written in 2018 and the duration for this paper is 2 hours. Okay, so we have question 1. So we have question 1 there, simplify 4 open bracket x plus 2y close minus open bracket 3x minus c 80y you close. So we're going to use this space to answer the question. So they've said simplify. So how do you simplify? So meaning that you're going to multiply 4 by uh, 4 of uh, uh, x. So it will be 4x. And then 4 times uh, 2y, we're going to say we're going to have so plus 80y. We move. So we multiply a negative uh, times 3x. So we have negative 3x. So negative times negative 80, uh, 8, we're going to have positive 80 y and then when you reach at this state you collect the like term so we say 4x minus 3x uh, plus 8y plus 8y so in this case what are you going to do you say uh, 4x minus 3x what are you going to have when you subtract you have x 8 plus 8 so we're going to have 16 16 y so when you reach at this stage you find that these are unlike terms so unlike terms you will not go further so the answer is x plus 16 y Evaluate so 2027 20, raised to power 2 over 3. So when you reach at this stage, you'd find that this is to evaluate. So how do you evaluate a question like this? So you write to say 27 raised to 2 over 3. What are you going to do? So it will be it can be written as uh, open bracket. So we have so a 3 there, and then we have 2, 7, and then you close, and then a square there. So it is one and the same. This and this, uh, this and this, it is one and the same. So how do you, how do you solve? So let us continue. So we are saying that we want to concentrate on this part. So we are saying that the the number that will be multiplied by 3 to give us 27 what is that number which can multiply itself 3 times to give us uh, 27 so we're going to say the number is 3 times 3 times 3 so 3 times 3 it is 9 so 3 times 3 it is 9 9 times 3 we're going to have 27 there so meaning that we're going to have 3 and then this uh, square which is power it is affecting all of this so we'll say to the power 2 and then it can be written as uh, 9 which is which is 3 by 3 which is 9 so the answer is 9 there so we can move so a straight line passing through a open bracket we have uh, 3 comma 2 close and b open bracket 5 we have comma y as the as the gradient negative 2 find the value of y so let us find the value of y how can we find the value of y we've been given the what the gradient so we know that the formula that we're going to use must involve the gradient so let us write the, co uh, the coordinates given so we are saying that a 3 comma 2 close and then we have b 
which is 5 comma y close so we we'll say gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus uh, x1 so this is the formula for the gradient so we can substitute we can say this is x1 we have y1 and then this is x2 and then we have y2 there so we can substitute so we would say negative 2 is equal to uh, y2 y2 is so write y2 so y2 minus we have y1 where is y1 okay we have 2 over uh, we have x2 so we say x2 is 5 5 minus x1 which is 3 here we can solve we can solve this we can say negative 2 is equal to so we say 2y minus 2 so here uh, 5 minus 3 we're going to have 2 so therefore we would say would say negative 2 is equal to 2 y uh, uh, y2 and then we have a 2 there over 2 and then we can cross multiply so we're going to introduce one you cross multiply so let us use this space here so we're going to continue from here so we would say uh, would say negative 2 times 2 is equal to y2 minus 2 and then when you reach here we're going to multiply so we're going to have 4 which is negative 4 so negative times positive it is what negative so we're going to have negative negative 4 is equal to so y2 minus uh, two there and then when you reach here you're going to collect the like terms so we would say negative 4 plus 2 because this is a negative when it crosses an equal sign you'd find that it will change to positive and then we're going to remain with uh, y2 there so negative plus so negative plus positive what are we going to have so you you subtract here you're going to subtract so maybe you are having difficulties in terms of uh, different signs so this is a number line so we have 0 and then we have negative 1 we have negative 2 then we have negative 3 and then we have negative 4 there and then we have 1 we have 2 and then we have 3 so in this case we're going to go four steps to the left so one two three four and then this is negative four and then positive two so we're going to go to the positive two steps so from four we'll say one two so the answer that we're going to have is negative two is equal to y two so therefore we are saying that y two is equal to negative two so meaning that this y is 2. So we would say y is negative 2. So we can move. Factorize completely. So we have 5x squared minus 5. So we want to factorize completely. So we would say 5x squared minus 5. So in this case, what are we going to do? We are going to pick something or when you look at the variables given, which is common. So we have 5. So 5 is common. So we'll say 5, open bracket, x squared minus 1, you close. Such that when we multiply 5 by uh, x squared, we're going to have 5x squared. And then when we multiply 5 times 1, we're going to have 5 there. So when you reach here, it doesn't mean that you've completed or you've factorized completely. 
meaning that we have a uh, x squared which should be worked on. So you would say 5 open bracket x uh, squared minus, so you find the, 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 the square root of uh, 1. So you would say 1 squared. So in this case, this is the difference of 2 squares. So you will say 5 and then, so you would say x minus 1, you close, you open, the same x, you would say x. So here the sign will change, we have a positive and then you're going to have 1 there. And then you close such that when you multiply five times uh, five times x, we're going to have five, and then when you multiply five five x times x, you're going to have a square there, and then when you multiply five by five, we're going to have five five by five again, we're going to have five. So that is the answer. So you should be writing the answer in the space provided. Okay, we can move. So we have question 5. So we have question 5. So use set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram below. So this is the shaded region. So we have this shaded region which is uh, a and then we have the shaded region which is B and then the unshaded region is C or say T C now how do we describe this so we can describe this by saying by saying A intersection or we we'll say A union sorry so we we'll say A so I would say A, A union, so A union B, so A union B because this is A, and then so this is A, and then we have, even we have B there, so this is A union B, so it should be in brackets, and then we have intersection because we are leaving out what? So we are leaving out C. So intersection C complement. So meaning that complement, it is uh, it is saying excluding C. So you can put your hand on set C, and then everything that will remain there, it is A union what union B. Or it can be written as or it can be written as C complement intersection. Open bracket A union B. So you can write it uh, using this or this. Still, they will do it. They will mark. Both are correct. So you can write to say uh, A union B in brackets intersection C complement or C complement intersection. Open bracket, we have A union B, you close there. Okay, so we've moved. So we are saying that given that C is, so these are matrices, and D is, we have that, express D as a single matrix. So what you have to understand is, number one, this is, row by column so you'd say row so row by what by column so in this case you have to identify to say this is a what a two by two so this is a two by two and what is this uh, matrix so this matrix it is a two by one because it has rows this is a row and then this is a row as well and then we have one column there so now they've said express cd as a single at single matrix so we are saying that c d so c d what are we going to do here so we're going to say uh 
uh, when we multiply 5 5 times uh, 5 by uh, 1 we're going to have 5 there and then so plus negative 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 1 and then negative 1 times uh, 2 what are we going to have so we're going to have a 2 there so we're going to have a 2 because negative times negative uh, it is positive and then we'd say 2 times 1 so 2 times 1 it is 2 plus uh, 1 times negative 2 what are we going to have 1 times negative 2 what are we going to have so meaning that we're going to subtract uh, we're going to uh, say 1 times negative 2 so we said positive times negative you do what the answer is the answer is uh, you, you 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 subtract so we're going to have uh, here we're going to have 1 Okay, so and then you would say five plus two, five plus two, what are we going to have? We're going to have seven, and then two plus one, what are we going to have? We're going to have a three there. So meaning that this is C D. So C D we're saying that it is Okay, so C, D. Okay, so the first three terms in an arithmetic progression so are 5, 7, and 9. Find the common difference. So we want to find the common difference. So how do we find the common difference? So we find the common difference when we say uh, this is so we have the second term minus the first term minus the first term so which is uh, we're going to say 7 minus 5 and then the common difference here it is what it is 2. So we have the common difference which is 2. Sum of the first 12, uh, 12 terms. So sum of so how do we find the sum of the first 12 terms? So the formula is so we would say Sn is equal to n over 2 and then we open there so we say 2a plus open bracket n minus 1 you close and then we have a d there and then we close there now this n represents the number that you've been asked for example the 12 uh, the 12 10 terms so that is so you substitute the n with what 12 and then a it is the first term so a it is the first term and then d is the common difference so it's a s12 is equal to so we have a 12 there over 2 and then we can say 2 open bracket 5 you close plus so we'd say open bracket we have uh, 12 minus 1 you close and then we have D. D is the difference that we calculated earlier, which is 2 there. So we can solve this now. So we are saying that uh, 2 times 5, it is 10. So we have 10. And then we would say plus. So here we have 11. Here we have 11. 12 minus 1, it is 11. So 11 times 2, we're going to have 22. So we're going to have 22 there. 
Now, how do we calculate when you reach at this stage? So you'd say, you'd say 10 plus uh, 22. So 10 plus 22, what are we going to have? So 10 plus 22, we're going to have, we're going to have 32. So 32. And then when we reach at this stage, we can reduce, so 2 into 2, it is 1, 2 into 32, it is 16. And then when you multiply, so you're going to say 12 times 16. What are we going to have? So 12 times 16. So 12 times 16, we're going to have 192. So that is the answer. So here it is. The common difference is 2, and then we have, uh, here it is 90, 192. So we can move. So, question 8. So we move to question 8. So in a game, the probability of a player losing is 0.3. What is the probability of a player winning the game? So you would say, when an event is happening, so when an event is happening, so when an event, event happening, happening is equal to 1. And then when an event is not happening, so event not happening is equal to what? So is equal to zero. So in this case, would say x x plus zero point three. So zero point three is equal to one. So meaning that when we reach at this stage, would say x is equal to 1 minus because this uh, 0 0.3 will cross the equal sign and then it will be a negative so would say negative 3 and then x is equal to negative uh, 1 minus 0 0.3 so what 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 do we have so we have 0 0.7 so that is the answer there. Let us move to B. So it say the coordinates of B and C are so 2,5 and 4, negative 3 respectively. If M is the midpoint of B, C, what is the vector, the position vector of M? So we want to see and to know the position vector of M. So we would say let us write the coordinates given. So we would say B. So B is 2,5. You close. And then C is 4, negative 3. So here when we reach at this stage, you would say the formula for midpoint. The formula for midpoint is so midpoint is equal to so x1 plus x2 over 2 and then you can put a comma there so we have y1 plus y2 over 2 and then in brackets so you can put them in brackets so we have the coordinates here so meaning that this is x1 we have y1 so we have x Two, we have y uh, y two there so we can substitute so we can substitute so we are saying that uh, x1 so x1 is 2 plus x2 we are going to have 4 over 2 and then y1 y1 that is 5 plus negative 3 so over 2 
So we can solve for this. So we are saying that 2 plus 4. So 2 plus 4, that is 6 over 2. And then we have uh, this is a positive and a negative. So what are we going to have? Meaning that a positive and a negative, we are going to subtract. So we would say 5 plus negative 3, it will give us 2 over uh, 2. So when you reach at this stage, it means that you can reduce. So we are saying that 2 into, uh, 2 into 6, it is 3. And then 2 into 2, it is what? 1. So meaning that this is the mid point. So now these are the coordinates that they asked us to do it to find. So would say would say M which is the midpoint. So M is equal to so we'll write because this is a vector so we'll say three and then there. So it means that we've answered the question. So we can move so uh, so this is so this is b eh? so this is b and then a so a so a is x is equal to 0 0.7 so here it is a mark so and then here we have two there okay so question nine so we've moved to question nine. So we are saying that given that E, so if this is the universal set, so the elements that we have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have set a subset of uh, universal set. So we have one, two, three, and four. And then B, we have two, three, four, five, six. So list A union B complement. So A union B complement. So we are saying that A union B complement. So A union B complement. So we are looking at we are looking at set A and set B. So now because there is a complement, a complement means excluding, excluding, meaning that this complement is affecting A and b so what are we going to have what are we going to have so when you look at here we have one so we have one one so this one will cancel even this one will cancel there so we have a two here and a two will be affected so this two also is affected we have three there and the three there is affected here it is affected also so we have a 4, a 4 is affected, a 4 is affected. Also a 4 there is affected. We have 5. So 5 is affected. 5 here is affected. And then we have 6 there is affected. Same applies with 6 here is affected. So we are remaining with two elements which is 7 and 8. So we are saying that A union B complement is 7 and what? 7 and 8. So, that is the answer there. And then let us move. So, a scale of a map is, so we have 1 to 20,000. The actual area of residential plot is 60 kilometer, uh, kilometer squared. This is the area. Calculate the area of residential plots on the map in square centimeter so they are saying to calculate in centimeter what or square centimeter so what are we going to do here first of all we have to convert we have to change uh, kilometers into centimeters now how do we convert how do we change kilometers into centimeters so we'll say one kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so now because they've said this is a square so we'll say 
1 km squared is equal to 1000 meter squared. So because this is a squared, and then what are we going to do? We are going to say this uh, we've been given 60 kilometers. So we we'll say 60, 60 kilometer squared is equal to x. So you cross multiply there, and then we're going to have x is equal to uh, so we're going to say six. How many zeros we have? One, two, three. And then plus this one, 4. So that is 60,000. So that is 60,000. And then 60,000 because we have a squared here. We have a squared uh, there. So let us see. Right to say because we have a squared there. So we're going to add other, another uh, uh, zeros here. So how many zeros are we going to add? So we're going to add three zeros again. So we'll say, so that is because we have a squared. So it is squared, meaning that we're going to multiply 60 times, uh, times 1 million. And then we're going to have uh, x is equal to uh, 60 million. So when we reach there, what are we going to say? So we're going to say, we're going to say 1 meter squared is equal to, 1 meter squared is equal to 100 centimeter squared. When we reach there, what are we going to do? So we say 1 meter is equal to this, which is squared, so it will be how many zeros? So we we'll write four zero. So we have ten thousand there. So this ten thousand, we we'll say because we calculated x. So we we'll say these are uh, meters. So these are centimeters. So we are saying that sixty million is equal to x, and then we cross multiply there. We're going to have x. So, we're going to add these zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we're going to add to 60 million. So, 60 million. And then we're going to add these zeros. 4 zeros. So, we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is it. And then, we, we are not done. So, therefore, we'll say... Now, let us use this space. So, we'll say 1 squared to this. This we've been given to say 20. So, we have 2. So, we are saying that the scale of a map is 1 to 20,000. Uh, so, meaning that this is 1 is on the map and then on the actual ground is 20,000. So we we'll say 20,000 there, which is 20,000 squared. And then we would say 1, 2, the one that we want to find here, the one that we want to find the square root for, uh, when we multiply this by 2, what are we going to have? So we're going to have 4, 40, so 40 million, so 40 million, meaning that 20,000, when we multiply by 20,000, so this is a 4, so we say this is a 4, and then you count the zeros that we have there. So here when you reach at this stage, so we would say, would say this 40, so we have here x because we don't know the actual ground uh, the, on the map, but we know the actual ground which is uh, this that we calculated the, uh, x there. So we have, uh, let us count the zeros so that we don't make errors. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we'd say 11. So, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So, that is the uh, number that we have there. And then, what are we going to do? You cross multiply. So, we have... 14 x is equal to 2. Okay, so we're going to divide by 14. And then here again we divide by 40 million. Okay, so this will go, this will go, so x will be, so we start cancelling out the zeros, so zeros, so zeros, three zeros gone, three zeros gone, so these three zeros, again these three zeros go, so we remain with zero and then a zero there also is gone, so we are saying that x is uh, six zero zero one two three four. So we are remaining with four zeros over four. So we can say two into two, it, uh, four into two, uh, two into four, it is uh, two. And then two into uh, six, it is three. So we're going to say two into two, it is one. Two into three, it is. So we're going to have one remainder remainder 1 and then 2 into 10 2 into 10 it is 5 and then I'm going to copy the zeros 1 2 3 so we have those zeros there so that is the number that we have so we can so we can write to say we have that is 15,000 uh, centimeter squared so that is the answer that we found there so we can move to question 10 so question 10 so the difference in uh, longitude between town a and town b is uh, 105 degrees b is west of a and family at a was watching a football match at 16 hours at what time did family B watch the same match? So we would say, this is simple. So we would say, let us find first the difference. So we have A and B. So we would say, A and B. So B, we have down B, which is... Uh, down B is 105. And then down A, we don't know. But we know the time that down A was watching soccer at what? At 16 hours. So we want to know and to find uh, what we've been asked. So first of all, we have to find the difference. So the difference in longitude. So how do we find the difference in longitude? So we'd say... Uh, the difference in longitude or we use this longitude the difference in longitude that we have or the, the, the longitude that we have which is 105 and then we divide by 15 uh, degrees so maybe you're wondering where this 15 has come from so the principle is one hour one hour is equal to 15 degrees and then one uh, one uh, uh, four minutes is equal to one degree there so in this case we are saying that 15 into uh, 15 into 105 so 15 into 105 what are we going to have so 15 into 105, so we're going to have 7. 
So that is 7 hours. So this 7 hours, it is the difference between A and what? And B. So in this case, because we have the time at A, so the time, time at A is 16 hours. So what are we going to have? So we're going to say this is for town A and then this is the difference in what? In time. And then we're going to so we're going to subtract there 0 and then what are we going to have? So it means that here 16 when we subtract 7 what are we going to have? So we're going to have a 9 there so the answer is we have 0 9 so here it is 0 9 hours there so the answer is 0 9 hours a distance between p and q is so we have the distance in nautical miles if an aeroplane flies from p to q at uh, 600 knots so 600 knots how long did it take so we want to find the speed so we want to find the speed so the formula for speed we know that speed is s and then we have d over t so we're going to substitute because we've been given speed we've been given which is uh, this which is 600 knots uh, 600 Knots is equal to, and then distance we've been given, which is uh, 360, uh, 3600, 3, and then time we haven't been given. So we're going to introduce a 1 there, and then you cross multiply. Therefore, we're going to have 600t is equal to 3600 over. 600 and then over uh, 600 as well so this goes this goes so we have t and then these zeros will go these zeros will go as well so 6 into 36 6 into 36 that is 6 so it is 6 hours because we are looking at hours so t, uh, t is equal to 6 hours there so we can move Okay, so the transpose of matrix uh, matrix P is so we have the transpose this. So write down the uh, matrix P. So it is very simple. So the transpose you find that they just uh, uh, change the, uh, the 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 rows and the uh, the column. So we would say uh, P is so we are going to change to say. This uh, column will be, this is a column, so a column will be a row. So meaning that we're going to copy these numbers that we have here. So we're going to copy them to say, there will be rows, so we'll say 1, 2, and 3. And then same applies with the second one. So the second one would say, uh, 3, Five zero, and then the last one, which is four one one. So this is the original matrix, which is P, and then this is the transpose. Okay, so we can move to B. So B is solve the equation. So we have the equation. So this is the equation that we have here. So how do we solve this equation that we have? So we are going to say uh, 2 is raised to, to the power 2x minus 1 is equal to 16, which is negative 2x. Uh, so what are we going to have? So we would say 2 to the power 2x minus 1 is equal to, so we are going to find a number such that we should multiply to have 16 so because we have base uh, a base which is 2 here we're going to write a base and then that base that we're going to write we should square it to a number such that when we multiply and then we're going to have a 16 there so what number can be that 
So we are saying that we are going to have a base 2 there. So a base which is a 2. So when we multiply 2 by 2 by 2 by 2, we are going to have 16, which is 2 times 2, we are going to have 4. 4 times uh, 2, we are going to have 8. 8 times 2, we are going to have 16. So meaning that we are going to have a 4 there. So when we write a 4, it should be in bracket, and then this power which is negative 2x should be maintained like that. So we'd say, so we'd say again 2, and then we raise to x, we copy just like that, we work on this side. So we are saying that when you multiply uh, negative 2x with this power, it will be 2 negative 8x so what are we going to have there so we're going to have 2 because the, these will cancel so we're going to have 2x minus 1 is equal to uh, we're going to have a negative 8x so when you reach there when you reach there so when you reach there what are you going to do you're going to collect the like Terms. So we'd say 2x, 2x plus 8x is equal to 1. Because this one, the negative when it closes the equal side, it will be a positive. So we would say we have this is 10x is equal to what? 1. And then 10, and then there we introduce 10. So 10, 10 goes. Then what are we going to have? 1 over 10. So x, so we are saying that x is equal to 1 over 10. Here, p, so p, 1, 2, 3, and then we have 3, 5, 0, we have 4, 1, 1. Okay, so we can move quickly. Okay, so we are, we are looking at question, so question 12. So the diagram below shows a sector AOB of a circle with center O and the radius which is 7 centimeters. The area of the sector is, so we have 25, 2 over 3 centimeters squared and then the pi has been given. So the formula for area of a sector, so we are saying that area of a sector is equal to uh, theta over 360 pi r squared there so that is the formula we can uh, substitute now this uh, mixed fraction we can change it to improper fraction so we're saying that 25 we have 2 over 3 so when we multiply 3 3 times uh, so we we'll say 25 25 3 and then this is uh, we're going to have 15 1 this we're going to have 9 and then plus 1 we're going to have 10 uh, this times we're going to have 6 plus 1 we're going to have 7 so we're going to have 75 so 75 plus 2 we're going to have 77 so meaning that the area of the sector it will be uh, it will be 77 over over 3 and then is equal to theta we don't know and then we have 360 there and then times uh, we've been given the pi which is 22 over 7 and then times the radius which is 7 times 7 so what are we going to do here you can reduce it to uh, the lowest term so we would say 2 into uh, 2, 2, 2 into 22 that is 11 2 into uh, 360 that is 180 when you reach at, at, at that stage so 7 1 1 7 1 what are we going to remain with so we'll say 7 7 over 3 is equal to theta over 180 times 11 and then times 7 there so when you reach at this stage when you reach at, at, at this stage so you can 
uh, cross multiply here so we would say this will cross multiply so we would say uh, 7 7 times 180 is equal to uh, so we would say would say would say 3 open bracket 11 times 7 so and then we have a theta there so in this case for this to be uh, to be to be to be alone or to be left so we would say 3 open bracket 11 times 7 you close and then same applies here we're going to introduce what we've introduced there so we have 11 times 7 there you and then this will go this will go so it will be uh, let us work out this so 7 can cancel so 7 it is 1 7 here it is 11 what else what else what else can we can we can we cancel here so we have 3 3 into 3 it is 1 3 into 180 it is so we have a 60 there so we have 11 times 60 and then here we have 11 as well so meaning that 11 here can cancel 11 here it will cancel so we we'll remain with a 60 so 60 is equal to theta so therefore you would say theta is equal to what 60 so this 60 it is what we are asked to say or to find so so that is the answer and then let us move ngiwezi invested so ngiwezi invested uh, 14500 in a business firm the condition was that if she left her shares in the firm for 12 months a profit of 5% would be added to her shares how much will she get at the end of 12 months so what are you going to do there the first thing that you have to do is to find the percentage so let us find the percentage of uh, this lady so we would say 5 over 100 times this amount so which is 14,500 so 14,500 so we can say these zeros and these zeros will cancel and then we multiply 5 times so we're going to multiply 5 145 by 5 this is 25 1 uh, 2 and then this is uh, 20 plus 2 so we have 22 we're going to remain 5 so we're going to have 72 so which is 70 72 uh, 7 725 uh, that is the amount that we have so meaning that this amount this amount that we found is 5 percent of the amount she invested so we can say uh, 14,500 plus this amount which is 725 so what are we going to have when we add what are we going to have so when we add you're going to have uh, 2 2 then 5 and then the zeros these are weights which were added earlier so this is the money that you will have at the end of the the 12 months so we can move okay so the diagram below shows a circle with a tangent so we have a tangent r w s the points v w x and y are on the circle such that x y w is 44 so w uh, x, uh, v w y 
is 54 degrees and SWV is uh, 39. So let us find the angles that we've been asked to find. So the principle here, we can find this angle to say if they are originating from the same origin. So V, we can find it because it is very simple. Meaning that this V, this V, this angle, it is equal to this angle because they are touching the what? The circumference and they are, they are coming from the same origin. So here we can say this is, uh, this is 44 and then so 44 degrees and then we can move and find the other angle so we can move and find the other angle when we look at uh, what we are looking at so even here even here so we find that here because the the the, the exterior angle is equal to the interior angle so even here it can be 40 44 degrees there and then we can find this angle so this angle we can find it how do we how can we find it so by adding we have 44 and then 54 and then we have 29 so we can say 44 plus 54 plus uh, 39 plus x is equal to 180 so when you add this when you add what are we going to have so when you add them when we add this uh, what are we going to have so 44 plus so let us see let us add so we have 44 plus 54 plus 39 so what are we going to have there so here it is 8 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 1 we have 17 so we're going to have 7 and then 1 and then here it is 9 12 13 so we're going to have 1 uh, 37 so 1 37 plus x is equal to 180 so x is equal to 180 minus 137 when we subtract what are we going to have when we subtract so when we subtract 180 minus 137 so here we're going to borrow one and then we're going to remain with seven and then here so three and then 7 minus 3, we're going to have 4. So meaning that here it is 43. And then what other angles are we, are we remaining with? This angle here. So this angle here we can find it by saying, so 43 plus 44 is equal to 180. Uh, plus x or so is equal to 180 so the interior angle in a triangle or the interior angles in the triangle they will add up to 180 so we are saying that when we add we are going to have so when you say 43 44 here we are going to have 7 then we are going to have 8 there so we say x plus c 180 so x 180 minus 87 so 180 minus 87 so here we're going to remain with 7 then when we add 10 minus so we're going to have 3 and then 17 minus 8 17 minus 8 that is 9 that is 9 and then we're going to have so 93 there so let us go to the question so w so r w x r w x so where is r w x r w 
x so we have that is 44 degrees and then x w y so x x v x v w so x v w that is 44 degrees and then we have y x w y y x w so that is 93 degrees so we can move So the ratio of the heights of two containers that are geometrically uh, similar is 2 to 3. If the surface area of the similar container is uh, 80 cm squared, find the surface area of the container. So we want to find the surface area of the container. So we use this space. So we are saying that 2 to 3 so 2 to 3 are similar containers so if the surface area of the smaller container is 80 cm squared so the smaller one is 80 so we would say before writing we are going to square because they have said we have to uh, the container which is cm squared so we we'll say 2 squared and then we have 3 uh, squared also so we're going to have a 4 and then 9 there so when we reach there so we would say this is for small container so this is small this is small and then this is a big container so we would say 80 and then we don't know so you're going to cross multiply so it will be 4x is equal to uh, uh, 80 times 9 so 9 times 8 9 times 8 what are we going to have so we're going to write it like this so 80 times 9 so when you reach here when you reach here because this is paper one so you would say 4 and then there 4 as well so this goes that goes so x is equal to so 4 into 4 it is 1 4 into 80 4 into 80 is 20 so meaning that you're going to multiply 20 by uh, 20 by 9 so 2 times 9 it is 18 so 2 times 9 it is 18 so we're going to add a 0 just there so this is centimeter squared there so let us move in the diagram below triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle STU by a combined transformation. So it is a combined transformation. So name the two transformation that map map triangle ABC onto triangle STU. So when you look at this one and looking at this one, so we have this triangle. So triangle A, we say triangle A. And then we have triangle uh, B. So now, when you look at it very closely, you find that obviously there was something, this triangle, where it was uh, gotten from. So we would say, when you look here, for it, for, for it to be here, so therefore, uh, we can imagine that uh, there was a triangle also, in this region so there was a triangle in this region so in this region where a uh, negative positive region so we would say when you look at here so we can count one one two three four five so we can count one two three four five so we can have something like that so we have and then what do we have so here we have we can count as well. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five. So we have something like this. So it will come here. So it will come here. And another one will come, will come where? 
here. So, meaning that when you look at it very closely, you would find that this uh, type of transformation, it is a, a translation. So, a translation meaning that we have a reflection and a translation. So, a reflection, so a reflection we have the mirror line which is this. And then this one was a translation because they just got it from this region to uh, this region. So would say so would say uh, translation translation and then uh, reflection. So in paper one, they will be bringing translation or reflection. So we can move. Okay, so two variables x and y have corresponding values as shown in the diagram below. So we have x and y and these are variables. So given that y varies directly as uh, x squared plus 1, find the constant a uh, constant of variation k so we want to find the constant of variation what k so we would say a uh, y varies so we are going to get this uh, which we've been given to say x uh, squared plus one you close and then we're going to say y is equal to y is equal to k because they've asked us to find k so we'll say k open bracket so x squared plus one and then you close from there you would say what are the variables that we've been given so the first variables that we've been given it is uh, two and 20 so we substitute so y it is 20 and then so k open bracket uh, x we've been given that is a 2 squared uh, plus 1 you close bracket there so we're going to have 20 is equal to k open bracket 4 4 4 so 4 plus 1 we're going to have 4 plus 1 that is uh, 5 so 20 k is equal to open bracket 5 so what are we going to do here so we're going to say uh, when we multiply 20 uh, when we multiply k times we're going to have 5 k so here 5 here 5 so k is equal to so 5 into 20 that is 4 so k is what is 4 so let us move to equation connecting y and x. So we want to find the equation which is connecting y and what? And x. So we'd say y is equal to, so y is equal to, so we can say y is equal to, so this, the equation that is connecting, so we'd say y is equal to, so 4 open bracket x squared plus 1 you close so when you look at this uh, 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 equation that we've been given here the equation that we've been given or that we've written here it is the same equation this equation here here before we substituted the equation which is here so this is the same equation where if we find k, this equation here, this equation here. So, where k is what? Is 4. So, that is the equation B. And then let us look at C. So, value of A. So, we want to find the value of A. We're going to use the same equation. So, we'd say y is equal to 4 open bracket x squared plus 1 then we close so what are we going to have so what are we going to have here 
So what are we going to have? So y, you go to uh, the variables given. So y is 104 is equal to 4, and then open bracket, and then we're going to say a squared plus 1, you close there. So here, 104 is equal to 4 times uh, 4 times 4 times a to the power 2 so we're going to have 4 a to the power 2 and then plus 4 times 1 we're going to have 4 and then you're going to say 4 minus uh, that and then we're going to have 4 a squared and then you're going to have 100 there and then 4 a squared so we're going to uh, uh, divide by 4. Here we divide 4. So 4, 4 goes. And then 4 into, 4 into 100. So 4 into 100 is 25. And then we're going to have 2a. So therefore, so we we'll use this space. So therefore, we we'll say a squared is equal to 25. So we introduce the square root there, and then we introduce a square root there. So square root, square root goes. So a is equal to the square root of 25 is 5. So meaning that a, we may not know because it can be either positive or what, or negative. So we would say, would say a is equal to 5 or a is equal to negative 5. So these were the answers for. So a is equal to 5 or a is equal to negative 5. Okay, so we can we can move. Okay, given that so this uh, given that function, so we have x and then is equal to 8x and we have g which is x and then is equal to this find so we have the first one to find the function inverse so the function inverse of x so when you look very closely you'd find that this 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 is equal to here so meaning that you're going to say f x uh, is equal to 80x. So when we reach there, then you're going to say y y is equal to 8 8x. So we want x uh, to be solved. So we say 8 and then here we say 8. So 8 and then x is equal to y over 8. So that is the first answer. So therefore, we would say f inverse is equal to y over 8. So let us move uh, an expression for fg. We have in brackets, we have this. So what are we going to have there when we look at it? very carefully so we'll say f uh, g and then we have x there so we we'll say is equal to 8 x and then now we're going to substitute so we're going to say f and then is equal to 8 and then what 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 do we have what do we have this so we've been given this so we've been given what this so we would say 3x minus 2 over 4 in brackets so here it can be solved for 1 4 here it is 2 so when we reach there we can multiply which is 2 times uh, 2 times 3x we're going to have 6x 2 times negative 2 we're going to have a negative 4 there so here fg then x 
what do we have so this is the answer that we have let us find the value of x for which we've been given this so meaning that you have to pay much attention to uh, what we are doing so f g which is x your close is equal to 20 so we've just copied what we've been given now we want to solve for what for x there so when you look at this do we have this do we have this do we have this this do we have it yes we have it because we've solved so we we'll substitute so 6x minus 4 is equal to 20 and then we can solve so x squared uh, x uh, 6x is equal to so 20 plus 4 because the negative when it crosses it will be a positive so we're going to have 24 and then we're going to have 6x and then we're going to use the space here so we'd say so we'd say 6x is equal to 24 and then 6 here 6 goes and then x is equal to so 6 into 24 so 6 into 24 is 6 6 into 24 it is 4 so that is the answer there let us move to question 17 so we can move to question 17 so in the diagram below a cyclist starts from town w and uh, cycles on a bearing of 216 degrees to town p she then leaves town p and cycles on a bearing of 296 to z z is west of w so we want to find uh, so we want to find p w z so p where is p so p is here p w z so p w z so p w z so this is the angle that we want this the bearing that we want so when you look at it we're going to extend this line we're going to extend this line okay so meaning that when you look very closely for us to find this so meaning that from here here we have this is a 90 degrees there we have a 90 degrees now how do we find the bearing there so we would say uh 116 this 116 so would say 216 sorry so 216 minus uh, or plus so plus 90 so plus 90 what are we going to have so we're going to have uh we're going to have uh when you add we're going to have three zero six so now this three zero six that we have this three zero six that we have it is from 90 from here so from here and then up to here so this is three zero six so would say to complete it to three uh sixty so would say three sixty minus three zero six what are we going to have when we when we when we subtract we're going to have 54 degrees so meaning that here it is 54 degrees there and then let us move to uh p so w so w p and then w p uh z so this angle this is the angle that we are looking at so now how do we find this angle how do we find this angle so would say would say this angle here this angle here it is equal to this angle here so meaning that if we find this angle then it will be very easy for us to find this angle then we subtract it from uh, 296 so let us find this angle so would say 
if this is 90 if this is 90 plus uh, plus 40, uh, 54 then it means that you're going to find from here up to there and then this same angle we want to uh, subtract it from uh, to 16 so that we can have this angle that we have here so when you look uh, when you look very closely you'll find that uh, when you look at it very closely you'll find that here you can see okay so this line can also help us to say this line is 180 so here we have if we have 90 here and 90 degrees there then we can subtract so we'd say 90 minus 54 so what are we going to have there so we're going to have 36 so this 36 here it is the same angle here which is 36 degrees so now we're going to subtract 36 from this. So we'll say 296 minus 36. So what are we going to have? So we're going to have a 260. So this 260 that we have, we subtract it from 360. So 360. So what are we going to have? So we're going to have a hundred here. So from here, so this is a hundred uh, degrees. So that is the angle that we are looking at. So we can move. Okay, so 18, so the diagram below shows a rectangular hexagonal prism so would say to find the number of planes of symmetry so would say the number of symmetry so would say the number of symmetry so plus we have one so where we have so n is number number of sides so number of what sides so we would say how many sides do we have so one two three four five six so we have one here and then back there opposite two and then we have three and then here we have four and then we have five here and then we have six there so we would say six plus one what are we going to have We're going to have seven so meaning that that is seven planes of of symmetry so that is the answer so let us move so a piece of timber measure 5.25 centimeter long calculate the uh, calculate the relative error of the measurement so the relative error so we'd say the relative error is equal to the absolute error so absolute error so absolute error over over time measure so time measure so in this case the absolute error we have to find the absolute what so the absolute error because we have uh, this will help us to find so because we have uh, 5.25 here would say it will be zero if if it had one decimal place it could have been 0 0.05 now because there are two decimal places here we're going to have 0 0.005 so this is the absolute error and then this is the measure now this is the timber or time measure so we are saying that uh, 0 0.005 over 
the time the the, the measurement that we've been given which is 5.25 so if we want to calculate this how many decimal places do we have so we have three so we're going to multiply by a thousand so we multiply by a thousand even here we multiply by a thousand so we're going to have five over uh we're going to have two five zero there and then here one and then here we're going to have a yeah, ten fifty so this is the uh relative so relative error okay we can move so we have integrate so integrate uh 3x to the power 4 which is raised to the power 4 minus 4 uh, x raised to negative 3 with respect to x so we want to find that so how do we find it? so to integrate so we we'll say y is equal to so a x and then n plus 1 so over so this is the formula that you are supposed to uh, to supposed to use so we have a c there so we can we can we can we can uh, substitute now so we are saying that 3x 4 plus 1 so what are we going to have so what are we going to have there and then the number which is the number which is uh the number which is here so it is 4 plus 1 we're going to have a 5 there and then what are we going to look at as well so we have a c so plus which is 4 x raised to negative 3 so raised to negative 3 what are we going to have there so meaning that we have uh, negative 3 plus 1 so here negative we subtract we're going to have negative 2 so we're going to have a negative 2 there so when we reach there so we can answer by saying when we look at it very closely you find that we're going to say 3x this plus this so we we'll say 5 and then over 5 plus here what are we going to say so we're going to say 2 so 2 2 x minus 2 over 2 so meaning that here it is it is uh, for us to remain with 2 it is negative 3 plus 1 and then we're going to have negative 2 so this is how we came up with the 2 there so we'd say y is equal to so 3x to the power 5 over 5 plus 2x to the power 2 plus c so it means that we've integrated there and then solve the equation so we have the equation which we've been given so the equation how do we find how do we calculate the equation so we have 2x minus 1 in bracket and then we have squared is equal to 25 there so how do we find how do we find this so we're going to say we introduce a square root there and then here also we introduce a square root so this goes and then that goes so we say 2x minus 1 is equal to uh, 5 so here 2x is equal to uh, 5 plus 1 so 2x is equal to 6 so 2 there 2 there so x uh, 2 2 and then x is equal to 3 so that is the answer or you can say when you reach here because the answer you find that it can it, it will be 
uh, positive or what or negative in this case if we, are, we want to solve the equation here so because we don't know so we'd say uh, would say would say x so 2x is equal to 5 5 uh, this we're copying this so plus 1 so we can say x is equal to so x is equal to 1 minus 5 over 2 so which is x uh, where is this 2 so we've introduced so a 2 there and then so here 1 okay we can say 1 minus 5 uh, for us to so have a negative so we would say 2 into so we're going to have negative 4 over 2 and then what are we going to have negative 2 so the answer is x is equal to 3 and then x is equal to negative 2 okay okay so we can move okay question 20 so Find the equation of a line which is parallel to uh, 2x plus y is equal to 3. Passing through, so we have the coordinates which is negative 2 comma 3. So we are looking at, we want to find the equation. So we want to find the equation. First of all, by finding the equation, we have to know the, the what? The gradient. So let us look at the, 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 the equation of a straight line. How do we find the formula? So this is the formula. M, uh, y, so we have the gradient x plus c. So we are going to uh, say y is equal to, so we have, which is, this will be uh, 2x plus uh, 3. So this is the 3 that we have. So we are going to have a 3 there. So Therefore, we would say the, the gradient is negative 2. So that is the gradient which is negative 2. Now, let us find the equation. So we would say y minus y1 uh, is equal to m. So open bracket, we have x minus x1, you close. So we're going to substitute. So we're going to substitute there. So we're going to say y uh minus so where is it so we have a three there so a three and then is equal to so m which is the gradient which is two open brackets so open bracket x minus we have which is a negative two there so a negative two there so meaning that so we have that and then so we can say okay, we're going to use this space but in an exam this is for examiner's use don't use this space so we are saying that uh, y is equal to so y is equal to or minus c uh, 3 is equal to so we have 2 and then open bracket so meaning that we're going to have x plus 2 you close there so y so we're going to say negative times negative we're going to have a positive there so y is equal to so you collect the like terms now here so this will go this side now before it goes we can also multiply to say 2 times x, we're going to have negative 4x, and then negative 2 times, we're going to have a negative uh, 4 there. Uh, sorry, we're going to have 2. Uh -huh. So, what are we going to do there when we reach there? So, we'd say, so we'd say, y is equal to so this is a negative so when it goes that side it will be a positive so so it will be 4 plus 3 
and then y is equal to so we have negative 2 x uh, negative plus positive we are going to subtract and then we are going to maintain the sign from the bigger number so which is 1 so this is the, the equation there so we can move so we can move uh, the diagram so the diagram so the diagram the diagram in the answer space uh, below is an incomplete flowchart to calculate cos x for the triangle shown below so we have this triangle so complete the flowchart below by writing and the appropriate statement in the bracket C or in the black blank uh, symbols so you would say what is the formula for cos so we're looking at the formula for what for cos so we want to look at the formula for cos so we'd say cos so cos x so cos x is equal to so cos x is equal to so x where is x so this x so meaning that it will go with that side so we'd say z squared plus y squared plus plus x uh, x x squared or uh, uh, x squared so here it is a minus sorry so here we have a minus there so I would say minus x so over these two will, will be repeated so these two will be what will be repeated so I would say 2 z y so this is the formula that we have for cos x so if we have this formula for cos x then we can proceed so you would say so this is flowchart and pseudocode so i have a video on uh, flowchart and uh, pseudocode you can check in my videos and then you you find it so we are saying that uh this this uh, 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 box that we've been given, this box that we've been given, it is the input. So the input you're going to enter what you've been given. So in this case, what are we? What have we been given? So we've been given sides which is x, y, and z. So these are sides which we are given. So here we will say enter, enter x, y, z. And then this box, when you see a, uh, a, 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 a rectangle, so you find that this is where now you put the formula. So the formula that we, we, we came up with earlier, so would say cos, so cos x is equal to, so z squared plus y squared minus x squared over 2 z y then you are done you are done so if you have questions on pseudocode and flowchart you can uh, look in my videos and then you find it okay so so in the diagram below R is the unshaded region. So we have R is unshaded region. Or you would say this is the wanted region. So how do we find uh, the inequalities? So we have three inequalities that we're going to come up with or that we're going to find. So the first inequality that we can find is this one. Is this one. This one. So this one is the first one. This one is very simple because when you look at the coordinates, so here we have 1 comma 1 and then here we have 2 comma 2 and then let us move so we have here which is 6 comma 6. Here 
we have 7 comma 7 so it means that any number any coordinates that you're going to pick from there you'd find that they will give us what so it will be uh, 1 comma 1 or it can be 5 comma uh, 5 so therefore it is x is equal to what is equal to y very simple so we'd say uh, in this case y is equal to what to x now because they've asked us to find the uh, inequality so we'd say y is less or equal to x why have we used y so you'd, you'd find that if you have uh, a solid line so a solid line so you're going to use either uh, less or equal to or greater or equal to. but if we have a broken line so we have a broken line so a broken line you'd find that you're going to use less or what or greater so you should observe this so when you look very closely uh, these are uh, solid lines so this is the first inequality let us move to the second one so the second one the second one we can pick the coordinates the second one so the second one so we have so we're going to get this or this will be our second one so this will be our second one this so this will be our second one so we are saying that we're going to pick so we have this and then we can pick even these coordinates that have been given here so we would say so we would say the coordinates so we would say 5 comma 5 and then the other coordinates we have 8 comma 0 so we can say now we can find the inequality so we can find the inequality there so how do we find so we would say we find first the gradient so we would say m y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so here we have x1 y1 we have x2 y there so we're going to substitute so we're going to substitute so what do we have there so we have 0 minus so 0 minus 5 over we have 8 minus 5 when we when we work out we're going to say negative 5 over over 3 so this is our our gradient so now because we want to solve so we are saying that y minus y1 is equal to so m open bracket we have x minus x1 you close so here we're going to substitute to say y minus so we're going to have y1 which is a y1 so y1 we have a 5 there so minus 5 is equal to m we have which is negative 5 over 3 and then open bracket we have x and then we have x1 which is uh, we're going to have negative 5 there when we reach there what are we going to do we're going to solve now so would say would say uh, y is equal to this times so we're going to have uh, 5x over 3 and then when we multiply there so negative times negative we're going to have a positive where we say 25 over so 25 over what over 3 and then we would say y is equal to so negative 5x over 3 plus 25 over 3 and then we're going to say here we have plus a 5 a 5 sorry so we have a 5 there so when we write a 5 what are we going to do there so we're going to say we're going to multiply 5 
so we say we're going to copy this and then plus and then this we're going to multiply 3 by 5 and then what are we going to have so we're going to have a 3 by 5 we're going to have a 15 and then when we continue working out you'd find that y you go to so we have negative 5 over 3 x plus this will give us what it will give us 40 so 40 over 3 so that is the uh, the, 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 the inequality so because we have this to be the inequality how do we find it so would say y when you look at it where is the so this is this is the unwanted region so this is the unwanted region so you would say y y is less y is less or equal to y is less or equal to negative 5 over 3 x plus uh, 40 over 3 so this is the inequality so let us look at the other one so the other one so this is the third one so this is the third one we can pick the coordinates as well so we can say we can pick these coordinates here we have 0 comma 2 so 0 comma 2 and then what are we going to have here so we're going to have 8 comma 0 and then we can we can we can we can uh, indicate to say this is x1 this is y1 we have x2 uh, and then we have y2 and then what are we going to do there so we would say m we find the gradient so y2 minus y1 over uh, x2 minus x1 and then we can we can substitute there so you'd find that we're going to have 0 minus 2 over uh, 8 minus 0. So what are we going to have? Negative 2 over 8. So this negative negative 2 over 8 is the what? Is the gradient that we found. And then let us find the inequality now. So we're saying y uh, minus y1 is equal to, so we have m which is the gradient then x minus x1 you close there so we can substitute y is um, y minus uh, y1 so y1 it is 2 that we have so we have negative 2 minus so this we calculated earlier where is our, our gradient so where is our, our gradient so our gradient is here so we have negative 2 over 8 so in bracket uh, we have uh, x minus so x1 that is 0 and then you would say you would say y so y minus 2 is equal to when you multiply we're going to have 2x over 8 when you multiply everything by 0, we're going to have a 0. And then, so we're going to have y is equal to, so negative 2 over 8x. So this negative will change to positive. So we're going to have a positive 2 there. So we can say, we can continue solving. So we can say, uh, uh, 2 into 8, it is 4. 2 into uh, 2 it is 1 so we're going to have y is equal to negative 1 over 4 x plus 2 so this is our uh, answer and then let us look at the unwanted region and the wanted region so this is the unwanted region so this is the unwanted region which is less so we'd say so we'd say y y is greater or equal to negative one over four x plus 
2 so that is our third so this is our third inequality so let us move okay so so given that uh, given a right angled uh, triangle xyz where we have uh, angle z is 90 and sin x is 1 over 5 find the value of cos x so we want to find the value of cos x so how do we find the value of cos x so we find the value of cos x let us see find first we say sin x is equal to 4 over 5 so in this case remember sin we are saying that sin is opposite over hypotenuse so that is 4 over 5 so these variables will help us to understand very well what we'll talk about. So we'd say, because we've been given x, y, z, where, so we have that. So we'd say, uh, we want to find the value of cos x. So we'd say, we'd say, okay, so let us see, uh, say, so we'd say, y, x squared is equal to y z squared plus z x squared so we are using a pythagoras theorem uh, to find the side which is uh, the side which we don't know yet so because we let us look at this uh, so we have this is a triangle that we have there so a triangle that we have there so this is a right angled triangle so we can say okay so the 90 degrees this is the hypotenuse so this is the hypotenuse so this is 5 which is the hypotenuse and then the opposite so the opposite it is here and then this is the adjacent so meaning that we want to look at the side that we don't know because we've been given only two sides so these two sides because we want to find the other side which is this one so this side we don't have so here it is a four but this side we don't we don't have so how do we find this side so this is by coming up with the formula of Pythagoras theorem. So we would say this is uh, y x. So y x always this is the hypotenuse. So we would say is equal to and then we would say y z. So y z y z is equal to four squared plus z x. So squared and then here it is twenty five is equal to here it is 16 plus z x squared so we'd say 25 minus 16 is equal to z x squared so 25 minus 16 so 25 minus 16 that is 9 is equal to z x squared so when we say uh, we find the square root here the square root so this goes that goes so it says zx is equal to 3. So that is it. So we found the side. So let us look at the formula for cos now. So cos uh, is equal to, so we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent here it is 3 and then the hypotenuse is 5. So this is the cos that we, we are looking for. And then let us move to another question so we can move to so the diagram below shows a sketch of a graph which meets x axis at t so we have negative 4 and uh, 2 
So find the equation of the graph. So we want to find the equation of the graph. Remember we have x is equal to so negative 4 and then we have another x which is uh, 2. So how do we find this? So we would say x plus 4 x plus 4 open bracket again would say x plus uh, minus 2 you close is equal to 0. So we can solve this would say x open bracket so we say x and then you close there so this and then you multiply by everything which is there so the other one it is plus 4 so this uh, positive 4 will move with the sign so we say x minus 2 so you close is equal to 0 so you'd say x squared because this is 2 uh, x times x is x squared so x times negative 2 we're going to have negative 2 x and then 4 times so we're going to have 4 times x what are we going to have so we're going to have 4 x and then 4 times uh, negative 2 we're going to have negative 8 is equal to 0 so you collect the like terms here. So we can solve for the like terms. So we'd say x squared, x squared, and then we're going to say x squared. So what else can we subtract? So this negative 2 plus 4. So negative 2 plus 4 is it? We're going to have negative 2 plus 4 we're going to subtract and then we're going to maintain the sign from the bigger number so which is uh, 2x minus 8 so we are saying that y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 8 so this is the equation of the graph and then number two so coordinates of the turning point so to find the coordinates so to find the coordinates we will say x is equal to so we have x1 plus x2 over uh, 2 so it will be x is equal to so x1 when we look at x1 where x1 we have it is negative 4 negative 4 and then x2 so plus 2 over 2 so we would say negative plus negative plus negative uh, negative plus positive what are we going to have so we're going to have a subtraction we're going to subtract so we're going to have uh, negative 2 so different signs you subtract you maintain the sign from the bigger number over 2 so it will be x is equal to so 2 into negative 2 we're going to have negative 1 okay so we can move uh, so we found x1 so we can say so we can say okay so we can say because we, we found which is x so we found x so we would say y y is equal to the the equation that we are using so the equation that we that we found earlier so we'd say x squared plus 2x minus 8 so we're going to substitute to say y is equal to so we have negative 1 squared and then plus 2 open bracket negative 1 you close minus 8 so what are we going to have so i would say negative so it will be negative 1 times negative 1 so the answer is a positive 1 so i would say here 2 times uh, negative 1 2 times negative 1 we're going to have negative 2 minus 8 so is equal to what are we going to have here 
negative uh, negative negative we're going to have 10 so we'd say uh, 1 plus 10 so 1 plus uh, 1 minus 10 sorry so we'd say 1 minus 10 because we will subtract but we we're going to we're going to add so different signs we're going to add but we maintain the what the sign so here it is a negative and then would say 1 minus uh, 1 minus 10 we're going to have a negative 9 here so y is equal to negative negative 9 so the turning point because we're looking at the turning point so the turning point would say the turning point so would say 1 a negative 1 comma negative 9 so this is the turning point so this is the turning point so let us move to question uh, so we have uh, 23 this is the last question so we are saying that the diagram below shows the speed time graph of a, a particle so the particle starts off from rest and accelerates uniformly for 10 seconds it then travels at a constant speed for 20 seconds and then decelerated to rest. So we have a graph here. So this is a graph. Let me center it. So this is a graph here. So find the speed uh, V the particles reached if its acceleration was uh, 2 meters per second squared in the first 10 seconds so in the first 10 seconds so this is the first 10 seconds that we are looking at so we'd say velocity is equal to acceleration over times time so we're going to say velocity is equal to so 2 times so we've been given which is acceleration which is 2 and then the time that we've been given is 10 seconds so it will be 10 so it will be velocity is equal to uh, 20 meter per watt per second so that is it so let us move to the other one given that the total distance covered was uh, 750 meters find the value of t in the diagram so we want to find the value of this t how do we find the value of t so we want to find the value of t so we would say distance so distance the average this is the average so we'd say one over two and then in bracket you say time one minus time two you close and then the velocity there so we would say distance distance have been we've been given so distance we've been given which is uh so we'd say distance has been given which is 750 and then one over two and then the time we've been given which is the first one which is 20 so 20 uh, seconds minus so we have t2 and then the velocity is 20 so we can cancel 2 1 and then 2 here it is 10 so 750 is equal to so when we look here we're going to multiply we're going to multiply so 20 times 10 what are we going to have so we're going to have a 200 uh, there and then t times uh, 10 we're going to have so t times 10 we're going to have what so we're going to have so this is uh, a 10 uh, t2 so here when we reach here you collect the like terms so it's say 70 uh, 750 minus 200 is equal to 10 t2 and then here so 10 so 10 10 and then what what are we going to have here so, so we're going to have a 10 so when we subtract on top there so it will be 550 over 10 you go to t2 so 0 0 so the answer is 55 which is the time so the time is 55 
So let us see, find. So what what was the speed at 40 seconds? So the speed at 40 seconds. So we don't know where 40 seconds is, but obviously it can be here where 40 seconds is. So we want to find the speed. So we want to calculate the what? The speed. So we would say, would say acceleration is equal to so we have a 20 so 20 that is time which was given the first time and then we're going to multiply by 15 over we're going to have the 25 so when you reach here what are we going to do so you multiply you're going to have a 300 over uh, 25 so so 25 uh, 5 into 25, we're going to have 5. So 5 into 30, we're going to have 6. So it is 60 over 5. And then we say 5 into 5, it is 1. 5 into 6, it is 1. Remember, so we're going to have a, a 12. So we're going to have a 12. 5 into 10, it is 2. So meaning that uh, it is so 12 meter per, per second squared so that was uh, the speed at 40 seconds thank you very much for watching uh, this video if you are new to this channel you can subscribe